Let's see what All we right, got. So, what I like to start out with here, he's got his back too. We're gonna do some normals real quickly. Sure. Uh, just a spinning back fist. It's pretty fast. I told you he's an MMA fight. fighter, bro. Out there. Spinning back fist. Again. You might go for a command grab. Lots of stuff you can do off of that. Mm -hmm. um, not a combo move, just a very fast pressure move. Yeah, but uh, what it, I love to use is it an overhead or two, which is an overhead. Also pretty quick. Uh, are you going to get that confused with this? Maybe, right, you know, maybe. I sure do. <laughs> um, but what's it doing? Putting you right there in front again. Mm -hmm. right. Putting for you right, the grinder. Right, for the grinder, exactly. <laughs> now here's the cool, the interesting thing about his uh, some of his other normals. I said he had some distance stuff. So like usually you're thinking like here. Yeah. He can actually start what? to the here this, like energy he has coming off of stuff. You can like you can start that's, things from that's here. A, that's a really good distance. Yeah. So he actually covers a little more distance than you might actually think he does. Um, so this thing right here, bam, good for long range. Yeah, but Notice that that, that probably doesn't combo though. Low. Yes, exactly. And then you also have like something like this. Okay. Yeah. So, so these are all single down. hitting moves. So that's that's forward and forward. they're and they're all knockdowns. So it's not like move, like say for a punch. It doesn't look that broken. Is this right here? And then you can link that okay. into this move, things like that. So, but it does pop up up close one, though. Two, quick punches, kind of a good a good punisher, good way to it start. It seems combat. like he's almost always in the right range. He does feel yeah. like he <laughs> like, is, doesn't he? He's got a lot of tools that it just seems like he's always in the right. Yeah, range. he's uh, an MMA fighter, bro. That's jumping. dope. That's dope as hell. Bam. So, three, just standing three, pretty good uh, anti-air. As you can see, it covers a lot. Damn, that's just it's standing it's three. Health. Right, it's all, it, it almost knocking the health bar down. <laughs> so if you, if you can read the jump, that's a pretty good anti-air, I would say. I've been using it a lot for one. Yeah. I really enjoy that. Um, let's talk about grabs. Okay. He has just this sweet. Was that a suplex? <laughs> that's a fucking, oh, it's a DDT. Well. Oh, cool. nice. For two bars. Two bars. It does a lot more damage. It does about uh, 210. Uh -huh. Costs two bars. Um, okay, two bars. choose the side you want to go on to. Mm -hmm. So I can do like, I'm gonna go over here. Okay. So Put back in the corner, forth. get it, out, of the corner, out of the corner. He's seeming really balanced so far. At range with that so far. <laughs> Afterwards. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. We haven't even got to his special moves yet, though. So boom, you Bam. Yeah. Right that's, back in there. Yeah. That's um, awesome. Super awesome there. He also has from returning. Mm hmm. Mortal Kombat 4. Yeah. He's gotta have his throwing stars. Yeah, yeah. throwing stars. And then the, the EX version, of course. Is the, cir the circle yeah. comes out. I right. love that. Damn, that doesn't do Which hardly awesome. any fucking damage, uh, though. Probably one of my favorite moves, just visually, uh, is this. He has this slide tackle. and just comes into some, some ground. And yeah, it's yeah, that's going to be your combo in your face. It is his armored move. Oh, really? Cool. So it can, I mean... Ooh, I, I that's his move. armored move? You don't combo after it. Right. Like, oh. That hits when someone pushes the button. And then, you know, guess what? That looks kind of ass, boys. I ain't going to hold you. Yes. And then, frame wise, that looks, that looks kind of poo poo. Get right back in there. Um, also, have a, a low slot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so Jesus. Can, you, okay. oh I was going to say so, I mean, he can close in the distance. Yes. Very multiple good. ways. Yes. Either with an armor to slide or is that slide. You can also turn it into a knee. What? Oh, I see. Well. <laughs> you can also meter burn. Yeah, e exit, pardon into like I missed it the combos after that yeah as well um still kind of working on this one um but you can do the slide into other cool. combos so he has a lot of sort of like rangey stuff he can do he's looking I pretty balanced him. I'm not gonna um, lie to you face, do some grab. um not not I wouldn't say he's your typical air com com opponent right like you can definitely he has stuff you know you can get down close to him again do that but generally you he loves being firmly planted on the ground i would say and then punching you in the face he loves punching you in the face <laughs> yeah he's now, like i'm not gonna lie like scorpion he's looking like the most is, balanced uh, character enemy. i've seen scorpion has some neat things so let's say you're pressuring me like knock me down i'm super scared what do i do what are you gonna do bud I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to back out and get. Oh, I'm, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm pushing the wrong button. I was gonna say I'm you're. Gonna I'm watching you press it. The wrong <laughs> oh my god, a German suplex. Well, him. there's his throw. <laughs> so I can actually be pulled back by Scorpion. Mm-hmm. So it's a defensive cameo maneuver. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Oh, oh, you, you hit me out of it. Boom. I'm back now. I can maybe go back to the Shuriken. Mm -hmm. Kind of, you know, re Shuriken. That's a throwing star. I'm doing wrong. That sort of thing. Eiler. Um, also has this cool overhead. Of course he does. Do, you know, 
into a crumble. Of course he right. does. You can put it into combos. I don't use it in combos as much as Reiko, but I'm sure there's a lot of places that it does. Yes. If they're in the air and you do it, it does have a bounce mechanic as well. Uh, maybe we can show that if I can get it. Try to jump for me. It might not work for me. No, no. One more time. Yeah, go. you got it. So yeah, you can you can do a bounce as well. Um, one thing I forgot that I'm very excited about, because you know I do this a lot in games, is I love parries. Yes. Well, oh yeah. So let's show the parry real quick. Damn it, Alma! Bro, just clotheslined the shit yeah, out of him! If you EX it. I messed up, sorry. You can then. Oh, oh that combo. combos! Cool, cool, nice. cool. Again, though, man, oh, again, he's. He, I'm cool not gonna lie to y'all, man. He's seeming a little bit yeah. uh, so fucking poop, bro. Your, 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 your <laughs> like, competitive uh, wise, like, like obviously, just cool. casual wise, he looks fucking dope as hell. But, like, competitive wise, he's looking a little poo poo. I did that one, sorry. Throw fire at Right? Spit and hot fire. You yep. can start doing combos off Thank of you. that, right? Mm -hmm. It can go different ranges as well. So I can do something, let me think like this. Yeah, he's looking a little poo poo. Oh, oh, what? Whoa! Nice. You got it. Where did you go, Annie? So I put him to the other side, pop right. up, goes for there. So Scorpion, definitely a lot of things you can do. So you can go either side. Stuff. That's pretty also cool. For safety. Yes. Big time for safety. His, I think we should probably go to his fatal blow. Okay. The fatal blow is very interesting. If he does it regular, it's a grab. Mm -hmm. What do you do if someone's going to do a fatal blow to you that's a grab? What's one thing you would do? You jump. You Everyone jump. Knows Try that. that. Everyone knows that. Try jumping. Nope. So if you hold up during, it will do an air. That's all. Awesome. He has a but fatal blow mix up. Right. If you hold it regular, it'll grab on the ground. What? It's a read? There we are, Reiko. Yep. That was okay, that's Reiko? broke. Reiko. No, nah, that's broke. No, nah, that's broke. That's a 50-50 fatal I'm blow. Good. That's Reiko. Yeah. Gra Grappler's best friend. In your right. face. Super in your face. But if now you guess wrong, you die. So. Pre-order character, which we've been. All right, here we go. This is with. what I'm interested Stephanie's in. Been working with uh, some Shang Tsung. Yes, this, he is very exciting. I think this is a really, really cool take on Shang. Everybody, Shang Tsung tonight. I like it. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Who? Uh, what kind of people want to play Shang Tsung? Well, Shang Tsung has always, for 30 years, been, been kind of a tricky character. Mm -hmm. he, um, you know, ground fireballs from like right different MK3. kind of zoning tools the ability to morph into the opponent you know he's always been a character that really rewards knowledge and i think that's been brought into this game in a really cool fresh way mm -hmm. awesome well then the new things about him is he wears these claws that have poison tubes attached to them he's in Liu Kang's new era, he's still a sorcerer, mm -hmm. but he's also more of a scientist, like an alchemist or a scientist into like uh, poisons and potions and stuff like that. So Liu Kang turned him into an evil genius now? Yeah. Oops. He's, <laughs> he's, and Mistakes he's, happen. You know, kind of the outworld courts, um, almost like a Rasputin, like a weirdo advisor that's into kind of the mystic arts, but also Who's Rasputin? weird experimentation and stuff like that, which I think is a really fresh, cool take on the character. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's check out let's, his gameplay. Let's jump let's in. It. Yeah. First thing we'll talk about is the claws, which you can kind of expect he uses in okay. a lot of his normal attacks, like instead of a sweet kick. He uses his claws. They give him pretty good range. Okay. He has a bunch of slashing normals. Okay. Low that's ender. One that acts as a pop up. So that's gonna be punishable as shit. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of the, the claw trail. It's pretty badass. Yeah, it looks really cool. Whoa, 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 whoa what one was that? Go back to that. Things I'd like to show is his forward four, which is this triple kick. Really good range. Mm -hmm. Pretty quick mid. I think it's gonna be one of his kind of key normals. Knocks away. Yeah. And then let's check out his throw, which I'm a huge fan of, because it reminds me of Mortal Kombat 3. Mm -hmm. Bro, that's like a Street Fighter Street Fighter throw, huh? That's awesome. I love when we have those little throwbacks in there. You can also see he has this <laughs> quick overhead. It doesn't pop up or lead to combos, but it's pretty fast, and yeah. it's going to lead to a knockdown. Okay, well, I, I'm... And here's a really interesting twist on Shang Tsung that I can't wait to talk about. So, you know, there's always a debate. Some people like him when he's an old man. See, this is Some what I was talking like about. He, he goes in between young right. and old. Why not both? Well, any time during a fight, Shang Tsung can morph into an old version. Nice, cool. And this 
drastically changes his move list. Like how so he's a stance well, switch example, character. When he's young, his 2-4 is a knockdown. Mm -hmm. When he's old, 2-4 becomes a low. Do you think it's because he can't stretch that much in there? <laughs> <laughs> Another example, back 1-2 uh -huh. is a pop-up. When he's old, it's a mid that knocks down. However, his overhead becomes a low combo starter. Interesting. It's because he's- Wait, what do you mean his over- Oh! His four, four string, but, but it's not a hit confirm longer. though. Yeah, it's not a hit confirm hits. though. No, it's not a hit confirm though. That's cool. Another neat thing is you're not, this is not meant to be something that you have to set up switching back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you, know, you need to cover your base. It's meant to be very quick and it's something you should be going in and out constantly. Cool. Yeah, so but why though? I don't. See, it's pretty quick. What? There has air. to be more. Oh, neat. Yeah. And he can do it in the middle of a combo. What? And it's extremely fast. That's wow. You can also switch. <laughs> That's just swaggy. Like this and is cool. Finish combos. Here's an example. Oh. So I'm actually inputting it, hitting the morph, and then switching at the end of the combo. Now there has to be more, bro, because the, the, wow. there would be no reason there's to be ever play cool the old stuff. chain. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, unless I'll there's more, because you oh, lose. Okay. So you... let's go into a special move. Okay, so, here we go. Straight off the bat, you expect it. It'd be weird if he didn't have it. He has the flaming skulls. Absolutely. He can do the double. And he's like in his classic pose, too. Exactly. Which... I love. He also has an EX version that kind of starts <laughs> off as a kind of reference to his 3D Fireball 2 Deadly yeah, Alliance. Yeah, basic Deadly Alliance, yeah. He can also do Fireball in the air. Okay, no insta airs. And he's, then let's... He's just controlling everything. Yes. Then he has a new move using his claw, which is a claw slap. Oh. It's a great combo. EX ender. probably pops up. EX version has armor. So it's kind oh, of that's his armor cool. move, okay. Cool. Another new move, which again reminds you of MK3 is Bed of nails. Awesome. Mm -hmm. these, flips backwards. It's like an escape tool. If you want to get back to zoning. You can do it. Yeah, he's gonna be a zoner. You think they're gonna? He's gonna be a zoner. They're gonna land on Splat. a bed of nails, which is yep. a really painful way to land. Your I don't jump. see the stance switch being that prevalent. That's super cool. Unless and it changes also special moves. Has the ability to morph into his opponent. He's doing all the more. Well, he didn't. Yeah. He, he wasn't more even a soul right. steal. He can also morph back. And so will you time out after a while or? Yes, oh, okay. he either move back on his own or he'll time out. Gotcha. Now, as an old man, his special move set completely Okay, changes. here we go. Here we Instead go. Instead of the straight fireballs, he has a ground fireball. Oh, it's like it's classic. He's gonna be a zoner, bro. He's gonna be a ah, zoner that literally, really he's gonna be a zoner Instead that switches in between the two. kind of claw move, he has a single one that covers significantly more space. And yeah. this is also an armored move. Instead of the uh, bed of nails, he has this injector, where he actually implants you with an injection of poison that mutates you, and then knocks you away. Mutates now, this you. Has an EX version that is super, super cool. What do you mean He'll mutates inject you? you? Morph into the opponent, their restand, and then he actually gets a damage buff where he's scorpion, but he'll be doing even more damage. I That's see. That's pretty nasty. A better, a, I see. A better, a better exactly. scorpion than the scorpion. Yep. And he <coughs> has an air fireball of his own, which is like a jumping version of the classic ground skull. Right. Oh. Yeah, man. I, I, he, he, this is a zoner. I'm sorry, y'all. Th this is a zoner. Uh, is there anything he can't do? He's pretty <laughs> awesome. So one thing I wanted to show is the different ways that you can combo. Oh, yeah. So you could do stuff. Like normally, you just come into this. You can morph mid string and then do a special move. Another example. Oh, what? So I was able to start as. I mean, that looks so swaggy, but again, do like. A special move as old Shang, then do the restand with the morph. So two different <laughs> morphs in one combo. Wow. Very, very cool. That's a lot. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, Tyler's not gonna play this character, guys, but that's what I know. Well, one really wonderful thing about him is, while there's a ton of depth, he's actually not super hard to play because the move set the inputs are the same between young and old. So the fireballs, he has two oh, different types great. of fireballs, but they'll always be down forward one. Mm -hmm. 
Right, or right, right, right. The bed of nails moves down back three, and the injectors down back three. So, you know, the it depth, translate yeah, it translates fine. very. It's very. I mean, like it's badass. It's depth. super cool, so but like I can't about, see him just like not just being your traditional zoner. Do, but it, this time he's switching in between two characters. So I'd play him like young, first you know, round. super fast. So you're gonna have to like really keep an eye on that. But other than that, like I, I like that. That's not that like scary. It's not like a super fucking fast mix up character, you know. And it's really easy to do. It's just down down left trigger. It's just down and left trigger. Oh, just down. Right. He is not meant to be challenging to play. He's, it, the challenge is how you apply the tools. The tools themselves are not meant to be overly challenging. Gotcha. And the strings, when you're morphing, it's very lenient. Like, you input it, and then once the special news is about to come out, that's when the morph happens. Okay. Very well, let's cool. talk about the cameo I chose, because I chose yeah, Shijinko. Yeah, he popped out for a second, but we haven't yeah. seen him. Oh, Shijinko cameo. Here we go. Shijinko has no unique moves. Instead, he duplicates moves depending on who the opponent is using. A good mix up with Shang Tsung and Shijinko. They're both, exactly. they're both taking stuff. So yeah. just like Deception, he's able to just watch people fight, learn, take after them, and then copy their moves. So his throw- This is a lot to take in right now. His throw actually changes every opponent. So he is using Scorpion's forward four attack as his- Real? That's cool! He Dude, also, that's so dope! If you look at his meter, it's actually different than everyone else. Yeah. So he starts out with no- Ability to use his cameo at all. You call him in, and he will start meditating. And you can see his cameo bar is filling up. Yep. Once it's filled, he now has access to moves. What so, moves does he have access to? I can call him out, and he can do Scorpion's rope spin. Very he gets cool. one charge of it. You can see one charge went away. Now I need to recharge him, so I can call him in using his Apep Punch. <laughs> and he'll begin to meditate. I mean, dude, again, super no, fucking no, cool. I'm like, don't, don't get me wrong, him, super cool. Don't, I, I don't want him to meditate anymore. But would you pick that over like a Frost or a Kano? Okay. So now with two charges, I can do his second move, which is... I mean, maybe... You know, it had to be it, it, like, if your oh, opponent... Get over here. I don't yeah, know. Nice. I don't know, man. I don't know. So man, do I feel like I feel like there would be a place for it competitive-wise, right? And there's the timeline. crazy. Another way to charge him up. And then he gets to do it. And you can also, like, you can have him come out, be next to you, and at any time, I can call, he can peace out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're going to want to protect him on screen while building up. Then once the meter's built up, you can call him at any time. So sometimes I'll use cameo as a barrier for me to take a hit so I don't have to. Yes, you could for do you, that. You want yeah, to that, be this will, that will never be used exactly. in competitive yeah. play. I just can't see it, man. And like, it, while it's cool and while it probably has its place... Hold on, let's watch this. Oh, that's really, dude, that's cool. While it's cool and it probably has its place, there's oh, no way there's that stays in competitive play, wow, man. There's no way. Okay. There's so no way. He infects you GG's with Tarkata? That was yeah, fucking that's dope. What he's been 